Hey, it is Robbie from Southern California, July 1st. Cannot believe it. Wait a minute. She's starting with her ginger and turmeric. Yes, because I'm going to turn around and show you this. We have work being done right now. Nothing major, but major enough that they ordered a porta potty, which is interesting. So here's what's going on. The front yard, the tomato project, I'll take a peek at that later and show you. It is great. It's just that I can't get back there. It wasn't that easy. Everything else is the same. I had big plans, but I'm putting my plans on hold right now. So all in all, front yard looks pretty much the same except for the porta potty. So we're gonna skip the front yard today and we'll see that in two weeks. Now here the geraniums are doing good. Here I have a few more things I've got to plant. I think I've got chamomile coming up. This is a weed, so we don't need the weed, but I might move it or not. I'm not sure. I've got to get more ginger out here, but look at this. I thought it would be a little bigger. We're still cool, but it is popping up everywhere. Mainly here is turmeric. See how big the leaves are? So we've got turmeric here. I've got only a couple ginger. The ginger are marked in this kind of a limey green and you can see how see how the leaves are so thin and then your turmeric has a wider leaf and then this is the black or blue turmeric which has the black stripe through it so i've got one here one here and one here and you know a note on that even though they look short they actually came up first before everything else but now they're starting to burst into life what's going on is they're repairing some of the roof because let's put it this way, after a while, you really get tired of things being rained on and having to use flower pots for your house instead of where you need it. So now I can bring them outside and I don't have to catch water in the house anymore. I have not gotten to this, but I'm almost ready. I was gonna do it, but they've been working, so I let it go. But this is pretty much ready to go. I may end up putting, I haven't decided, one or a half a bag in and get going. There's my tomato plant. I'll do a whole video on Tommy the tomato doing really good. I'm going through and collecting all the yellow leaves off the tree collards and purple tree collards and I am just starting the plant. Everything's doing good. Look, my zinnias are gonna pop open soon. Let's keep walking through here because this is gonna be really a short one. Nothing much, the flowers are blooming, the salvias are blooming, and then the hummingbirds lunch is blooming. I hear birds, oh, goldfinches are trying to take a bath. So all in all, everything here is the same also. Really a lot of stuff is the same. What's going on is the chair garden. So let's kind of keep walking. The mint, I need to take more of the mint down. There's too much mint in here. So I wanna take a lot of that out and down in the front here and let it grow more to the back. And then eventually I hope to be able to get to the those containers back there. But I do have, look at this, a volunteer tomato. Look how big it is. It's coming up, up and up. I hear birds and everything. Look at the tree collard. Just really cool. I mean, it's nice the way it is. If you look back, it needs a good trimming, but all in all, everything is doing good and almost everything is edible in here. And I do make green drinks and I do use that, except the four o'clocks are not edible. And see, four o'clocks, they were open and now they're closing. About four o'clock they close. Well, that's just what they do. It's, they open up for a while and they close towards the middle of the day. Okay, so here, see they're putting foam around places. So they're dropping stuff everywhere. So I'll have to clean all that up when they're done. I think some of my papayas are gonna make it back. That one's still very yellow. This one's very green. That one's green, really green. This one is the one that lost its top, but you know, it's it's doing okay. And I might try to figure out which are the better ones, keep the better ones and start trimming some of it off because I think it might be too much, but we'll see as time goes on. And Gary made a sink for me. It now drains, so I put a hose here. I can wash things off and it will drain to the citrus trees, which, boy, do they look happy, don't they? Look how big they have gotten. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so let's keep going. This has been interesting. I've been dumping this. Now, these are the last two bags I have. This is from last year and they were not doing good. They had some sort of herbicide in there. I'll show you in a few minutes what's going on. So there it is there, but I have to show you the ones that I dumped, oh, about a month ago, because that is exciting and gives us all oh, a lot of hope. So we're gonna zip through this so you'll see it in a few minutes. The strawberries there are doing fantastic. I'm just starting to get strawberries. There's a rosemary. Let's see, so what is going on here? 
Look at the bottle brush. Brings in a lot of birds. My strawberries are really starting to pop. I'm getting a lot of flowers now, so I should be getting strawberries fairly soon. Here I've got a strawberry. I gotta pick that soon. I should. It's a nice big strawberry. Pick it and split it with Gary. Didn't set up in this tote yet, but I'm almost there. I keep throwing leaves in and soon I'll top it with some other soil from another tote. There's my buckets. I've got peppers growing in there and now my little tiny peppers are starting to take off because our weather's warmer. We're now about 60 at night. Isn't this gorgeous? I haven't even done much with it. It's a bucket. One of these things you get from the nursery and I made that cement with leaf patterns in it. Got a pipe coming up and we have water for the birds. Trimmed the fig tree back. I really don't know if I really want it, but trimmed it way back and that's a purple tree color that's growing up to the top. Here I had a lot of stuff I've already harvested. I've got zucchini, I've got tomatoes, I've got eggplant coming back here. I covered this to keep some of the critters out. This is yellow squash. This is yellow squash. Look at that yellow zucchini. This is my purple kale. That's doing pretty good. And back there are some onions I got to pick. And then I've got potatoes going there. Let's see, pepinos. There's still that same pepino I haven't picked. But what I'm really happy about is I pulled this pepper plant out of my pizza garden and it looks like it's going to grow. Look at all the new growth on that. These are seedlings. Down here, I should pick some out of here and plant them because this is the black cobra. So a black cobra fell in there and grew. This I want to really cater to because that is the one out of my pizza garden that's a really sweet red pepper. When I say sweet, it's not fire hot. Then I've got the milkweed, which the butterflies keep coming to. I've got the watermelon just starting. Not sure if it's in good shape. It looks to me like it could be heavier in the stock but there are three of them in there, so we'll see what happens. More tomatoes. Look at the bottom. I got celery growing along the bottom and different geraniums. Then in here, I, this side just has to be planted. It's just sitting here. It's a hummingbird's lunch. This is like, it's not a two system, but this is where I compost. Oh, look at all the critters in there. That's okay. They're breaking down everything I put in there and they're gonna feed this plant. I didn't plant this tomato, it's just coming up. Then I've got the walking onions here and these are just still things I'm propagating. Then I've got the butterflies. Oh my gosh, I think one is ready to turn. I'm not sure. This has been work that I hadn't planned on and the pizza is doing fantastic. This is my pizza garden. Everything is doing good in here. Look at this is Columbine. I had some Columbine last year and the seeds fell. This came up in the middle of the yard, so I put it in a pot. Is that cool? Sage, basil, oregano, rosemary, basil here, tricolored sage. Okay, a mustard came up. We don't put that on pizza, but I'm gonna leave it. And thyme, I am very, very excited. So all in all, this is doing really good. Like I said, see, they've got stuff here. So I've got a lot of stuff going on. So I'm gonna just go ahead and walk through. Down here, nothing because I wasn't sure if I was gonna to have to move anything when they came to repair the roof. So I didn't do anything different except I do have lettuce down there growing and I've been picking it like mad and I wanna get more lettuce growing. Then here are the totes I painted. They look wonderful. The only thing that doesn't look wonderful is I messed up. I bought these plants that were half price, the cucumbers, not this one. I moved this one out of the chair garden, but these, you can't really separate cucumbers easily. Keep that in mind. They're not like peppers and tomatoes and a lot of other things. When I separated them, they fried. That one might come back. See the bottom here is green, but these are toast. These I left the four together. And if one really takes off, I'll just trim off the other. So I'm waiting to see what happened. This is zucchini. It's that zucchini tree. Look at this. Yep, zucchini. And it's broke. Isn't that something? It will come out when I'm ready because I'm going to get more cucumbers and stuff here. Nothing done here. Tomatoes are growing in a grocery bag. Remember that? Yep. I don't know what's going to happen when the bag busts apart, but it's growing. That's potatoes and there might be potatoes back there. Everything's overgrown. This is doing really good. I did a massive harvest the other day and now I've got to do some backwards planting. But wait a minute, what's that? Yeah, I haven't even done a video on that. So I'm gonna do some backwards planting here soon to get these going again, but this is doing really good. This is a young plant. It's got, you can see the zucchini there, another zucchini there, I'm keeping it covered right now. This one needs backwards planting. I'll do something with that soon. This one, if it doesn't make a comeback, I'll put a new one in there, so we'll see. 
because I really had to trim it back due to all the powdery mildew. But I still got a lot of squash off of it. So I have been so pleased with all the zucchini. And let me tell you something, that was another one day harvest. I seem to be harvesting zucchini every day, but you, that can't make me happier because it's the most versatile food. And I don't know why more people don't use it the way I use it. I love it. It is perfect. And there it is. Can't beat that. We have zucchini grated up in eggs and you scramble them. Oh my gosh. And then of course, adding it to meat to make your meat go further and soups and well, you can use it for anything. I will get to backwards planting soon. I haven't done that yet. I have so many things up my sleeve. I just never have time to get to everything. So let's get back to the garden tour, but look at that. Isn't that cool? I don't think I can ever have too much zucchini. And then look at this, a newer plant I put in here. Is that gorgeous? I think you saw it two weeks ago. Look, it's full and happy. Nothing done here. That's the meadow. I've got my flowers coming up. I think it's called Chinese forget-me-nots. And everything looks good here. Nothing new there. Gary's planting a lot of cannas and different flowers in the back there to bring in the hummingbirds and the Orioles are feeding on him. And so he, he's doing that. We had a lot of dragonflies. This morning, this place was covered in dragonflies. I did not get a video on that, I don't think. I'll have to look. But they were all over the place. And then what else? Look at this. All the pomegranate trees are full of flowers. Have not done anything in here yet. Not sure what I'm going to do. So let's see. And the chair garden. That's my pride and joy. Oh, let me show you the nectarine. I'm going to have to do a video on this because this tree was almost dead. And well, it's fixed. No chemicals, no spray. And if you've got tree issues where you got curly leaf, let me know because that tree is completely cured and we're gonna have nectarines at any time, unless the deer come, then I won't. Sage is growing in here. And then that's it. This has been my pride and joy because everything has been growing fabulous. Redid all these totes months ago and I have had nothing but good luck in here. Look at that, I've got a pepper. I've got to get this up, better get some irrigation to me. This has been loaded with peppers. This was full of fruit, all of these. I took most of them off. Obviously I forgot one. I'll have to get that off later. Then there I've got zucchini. I've got all these tomatoes that are getting really close. I've got the sun golds. I've got the 100s cherries. This is a brads. There's a black cherry in the back here. Here's another, oh, this is a coco gel. <laughs> I'm asking you, look at this. This is no joke. Yesterday it was that big. I looked at it and thought, oh, it was a little bit bigger than that. Look at that. Hello. Oh my gosh. This is the sun golds. Look how big this is. We've actually been eating sun golds. I have another tomato back there. And I did remove the extra squash plant that was here. I told you it came up as volunteer. This one is a zucchini and it was really bad. It was so bad, it was one of my own seedlings that normally you'd throw it away. But I put it in here and I said, whichever one grows better and this is now taken off. It's already starting to produce fruit. So I went ahead and pulled the other one off and that's what I'm gonna talk about in one second. And then this is a volunteer and I'm gonna leave it. So that's what's going on here. And then on the bottom, I've got garlic chives, I've got celery, I've got different geraniums and more garlic chives and celery. This has been great. And let's go over here. I still got the same bag. I only use handfuls of when I use soil, just handfuls. Oh, here, it looks like my turmeric is just starting. So I was kind of concerned on that. So we'll see. That's the only one I saw this morning was that, that. I took a couple bags of that soil that was contaminated with, I'm gonna say persistent herbicides. It could be off a golf course or who knows what. And I dumped them in here. They were from last year, put leaves and stuff in here. And I know it looks bad, but yesterday this was on its side and today it stood up. If that grows or I see weeds come up, then I'll know the persistent herbicide from last year's bags that I bought has have finally broken down so i am finding out you may not have to set it up you may be able to just let it sit and let the herbicide the persistent herbicide break down on its own and you may be able to use it so i'm testing so i took that squash and put it there i might put something in there and if it grows then i know i can start using it there's two more bags when i say using it i would use it straight from here use this for a filler for one of my totes or flower pots I guess some bird seed was removed by a squirrel. 
they dug a hole and now you've got canary seed, millet, all kinds of seed growing because of the squirrel. Gary left it because he weed whacked because we have weed abatement. And that's it, you know. I told you I'm gonna go through quick because like I said, we've got a lot going on here, different things, and it's just been too hard to come here during the day. They're pounding and banging, and then you've got that big yellow house on the hill, and they're pounding and banging. Okay, they've been doing that for years. I have never seen a house take so long to build. At least this, I think they have three more days of doing all that patchwork, and then it will be good to go. So that's it, let me step back. So sorry for the rush but I wanted to get out here while it's quiet because it's never quiet around here. And I should be able to get all that done, I would say all those totes, probably within the week. And then I won't have to look at that until next year, unless I'm adding something in. If one plant doesn't do good, yank it out, compost it, and put in something else. Don't know what I'm gonna do there. I might just start putting a lot of my walking onions in those two areas there and let them do their thing. And isn't that pretty? Look at that. Those I'm going to leave gray. I like to look because of the meadow to keep it quiet, more natural. But as I get down here, some of them I may paint. And of course, my rainbow garden, I'm looking at those chairs. And I think this fall, I'm going to set up another row. And I'm going to probably do something really unique in there. But not now. It'll be more of a winter garden. We'll see how things go there. And I've got plans for that red car that I told you I didn't know what to do with. As soon as I have time, I'm going to do something with that. I still have to do my chair. I've got plans on that too. So sorry for the zip around. We're doing great. You know, it's been slow. You all know some of us, you know, have gone through things and we've gone through things and it slowed me down tremendously. But I'm getting back on speed, getting things done that we needed to get done. And I love having a blue sky and warm weather, and that also will get me going more. And the hummingbirds are making fountains everywhere. So I hope you enjoyed this. If I went too fast, sorry, but I think in two weeks there'll be a lot more changes. And I want to get more irrigation tubing in there to create more shade because that is just making those plants burst. Even when it's warm, that irrigation tubing creates the sunshade sunshade, and it's fabulous for the plants. And I've got a special one that I'll be putting in my rainbow garden soon that I haven't even shown you yet. And that will be going in there as soon as I get back into there and do more. So I hope you enjoy this. Hope you're all having a wonderful 4th of July weekend because it's a long weekend and well, we deserve to have some good days. So with that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.